Magandang hapon mula din sa Recto Maynila, Jaya Gone with Keep Six. I'm here at Otaske Cosplay Festival for February 2022. Makikita nyo, despite what's happening around us, nakikita nyo na the fandom, the community is still going strong and this is one proof that we are here. So, on this side, may mga merchandise, at my back, may mga fans. Above me is the stage. So, looking forward to this. And we have lots of things in store. Alright, so, so we have Josa. And the last time na nakita kami, I got in one of her videos. So, this time, she's going in one of my videos. And this is that moment. Josa, kumusta ka? What time, ano? Ano oras ka ba nandito? Uh, around 12.45 p.m. Tell me more about what you're cosplaying right now. Uh, I'm cosplaying as Ryo Kuroki from Kira Kira Preaker Alamo. In, in the, ano, okay, speaking of Preaker, my bagong Preaker series, are you looking forward to it? Actually, I watched the final episode. na was so good. I don't know As I said in my cosplay update, no. So sabi ko sa inyo na and we're gonna it's gonna be you know delicious part is is gonna be another superb season for the Pre-J series. Okay, just curious, how long have you been following Precure? Um, I've been actually I've been fan for like, 16 years this November. So so yeah. No? Tapos ang pinag ulo season is obviously you Filipino dub na Utariwa. Okay, all right. So thank you very much, Josa, ladies and gentlemen. Yona Kurmataki on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube. Right. Instagram, yes. Instagram. In Instagram is also Yona Kurmataki. Small letters. All right. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Guys, ang tangkad ko. <laughs> Ayan. Luxiem, Ike Eveland, Mr. Rias. Ladies, how are you doing? Uh, hello, one. <laughs> we are doing fine. So, ano, saya kasi nagkakono le this year. Na Akala nga namin 50-50 pa to eh. Yeah, first one of the year. First one of the year, yeah. Alright, so let's make this quick kasi nasa harapan, nasa likod natin is a prop! Alright, so what made you cosplay Ike and Mista, respectively? Um, I cosplay um, Ike Evelyn uh, because I can see myself to him. Um, I watch his last stream, is about the karaoke stream. And I love, the, I love his voice. Lalo na yung pag-singing niya sa ano niya, kanta. Sobrang ano nagandaan. Then doon ako nag-stand kay Ike. Then I watch I watch na sunod-sunod na stream niya mula nung debut hanggang sunod-sunod na inabangan ko na siya. Meron na ako ano eh, membership niya. <laughs> membership na ako kay Ike. Kaya kaya yun, nung biglaan lang din ko eh, na plano namin mag ano look same. Sabi, ituloy natin yung look same. Kaya yun, natuloy naman. <laughs> okay, so how about you? Um, I cosplay this uh, mainly because uh, since I've been a fan of YouTubers since I was a kid, so like VTubers, so from new sa sound, so because mainly fan ako nila Markiplier, so like VTubers is really new. Yeah, that was um, when I watched Mister. Mister is basically the first VTuber I watch, and his personality, his um, his bubbliness, his goofiness reminded me of the old era of YouTubers. So like, I kind of feel nostalgic with him. At the same time, he shares um, really meaningful talks out of um, out of his gameplay. So I think Mista has a soft spot sa akin. Even though wala pa ako membership, soon, soon mag pa ako. So yeah. So yung talaga ang goals, ano? Membership goals? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Para uh, at least support sa, yeah. Yeah. Okay, ladies, ladies, thank you very much and good luck, all the best. And yes, uh, Niji, Niji, lang, Niji Sanji lang, guys, Niji Sanji lang. Alright, I'm bright. Ko. I have lots of lights here. So, at my back is the audience area. On my right is the stage. In front of me is a photo booth that na I set up here. To show the cosplay festival, there's standees, there's, there's, oh my god, there's posters of Shuyamino and Luka Kanishiro. That is pretty nice. Guys, guys, kita nyo ba ako dito? Uh, is my mic reachable? <laughs> hey, yo, look at the camera, say hi. <laughs> ilang, ano, ilang oras ka na dito sa Otakyut? Uh, since opening pa. 
ano, ano yun? Nag-open na sila tapos biglang ano, dog sana lahat? Uh, oh parang ganun. Kaso hindi ko masyado na-experience yung opening hours talaga. Kasi lumabas ako para kumain. Okay, okay lang yan. Okay, tanong kasi, sino yung pinaka nakita mo dito na na cosplay? Yung pinaka natatandaan mong cosplay? Ah, so isa. May kitagawa ma rin dito! Holy shoot! Asaan? 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 Asaan mo nalang yung shizukutan. Meron okay, sige, 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 sige. Thank you, thank you. Hanapin natin yan. Thank you, thank you, pare. Tupay, pare. Yan, chico na lang! <laughs> At the third floor of the University Suites is Otaku, the Japanese amusement park where you can rent costumes, Uh, you can uh, play games, you can take photos of yourselves. And this place has been here since siguro mga 2019, ganon, uh -huh. 2018, 2019. And so far naman, it has survived the pandemic. It has, it, it's uh, holding its uh, second event after the restrictions have been lifted. The last one was in December. Ladies and gentlemen, I found Shizukutan. So hi! Hello! nanonood ka ng ano ng biscuit doll? Um, nasa two episodes pa lang po ako tinatapos. Pero ongoing daw po yun. Yeah, it's ongoing. Ano, by tomorrow siguro episode 5 na? Or 6? Nakita ko po yung mga nag Shizu, Shizu Kuta na nag-cosplay. So, na-inspire po ako na i-cosplay siya. The legend, Jason Tabuso with us. Jason, pang ilang cosplay event mo na to sa buong pandemic? I think... Dala, tatlo ata? Tatlo? Pangatlo na. So, kumusta naman ang ano? Kumusta naman ang buhay? Okay naman. Surviving kahit pandemic. Hindi nawawala ng pera kahit sa paano. Ayos. So, you're still doing props? Yeah. Actually, yun ang aking money source ngayon during pandemic. Kahit nawala akong stable job. Ayos. Sige, congratulations. Na-survive natin ang na pandemic na to so far and looking forward for that time na mawala na itong pandemic na to. Diyos mio. Sige, thank you Jason. Good luck, good luck. Thank you din sa inyo. Keep safe, ano? Keep safe and God bless. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So I'm here with Jellyfish Education Philippines. So, hi, hi, how are you? I'm okay. <laughs> okay. So, so far naman, how is Jellyfish Education surviving in this pandemic? How's your status? Okay, right now naman po, we're still uh, gathering students. I mean, we're still uh, collecting students for programs like Study in Japan program and we are also offering online Nihongo classes during this time. But before, uh, the only change is that before we offer face-to-face -face classes. But of course, we need to cope up with the new normal and now we are offering our online Nihongo classes. Now. So how can we contact you? Uh, we can uh, you can contact us po through our Facebook page. We are very active naman po sa aming social media pages. Instagram po, uh, Facebook ay Jellyfish Education Philippines and Study Nihongo with Jellyfish Education Philippines and Instagram po at Jellyfish Fields. Okay, thank you very much Jellyfish Philippines. Thank you. Sa susunod dali. So Carlene, you just won uh, the group cosplay competition, tama? Yes po. <laughs> so ano yun? Ilang ilang buwan kayo naghanda? Um, actually, last minute ako na-invite. Parang two days ago na sabihan na finalist. So wala talagang time para mag-prepare. <laughs> Tapos kailangan mo pa makipag makapag rehearse with your kapahares, no? Yeah. <laughs> kailangan pa mag-rehearse. Kaya dito kami sa site nag-rehearse throughout na. So how was it? How was it? How was the feeling na despite all of those uh, last minute changes, eh, kayo yung nanalo? Um, shocking, <laughs> very much shocking. Hindi namin inexpect. Pero technically, um, Jinx won it in the bag talaga. All right, sige, congratulations, Carlene. Hi, ladies and gremlins. I'm here at Ataske February Cosplay Festival. Uh -huh. uh, it's very lively here. Uh, I heard it has uh, more than double the attendees compared to the last event. Uh, having a lot of fun being a ju the judge. Uh, enjoying the performances from the many talented performers here also. We'll be uh, judging the armor mecha category next. Really excited to see uh, the craftsmanship involved uh, in making the costumes of these cosplayers. So uh, I'm looking forward to their category. As you, get, as you take a break, uh, just take a break and good luck to your judging later on. Right? Thank you and I hope you enjoy the event. Yeah, thank you very much. So Chun, Chun, it's been a long time. Yan, okay. So, how are you doon? Uh, alam kong hindi ka pa nakakatulog, pero 
how's your ano? How's how are you so far? Uh, I'm having fun actually. Uh, pumunta rin ako sa event para puntahan yung maid cafe nila. Ayos, ayos. Sige, pupuntahan kayo maid cafe na yan. Sige. So, uh, kumusta ka dito? How's your experience? Uh, actually, kakarating na ko lang din. Pero, yun nga. Uh, maganda yung event kasi yung, yung stage nila lalo. Nakitang kita. Uh, tapos, pataas pa yung mga floor nila. Uh, new experience sa mga convention, actually. Ayan. Sige, sige. Good luck. Good luck. And uh, hope, looking forward sa mga ano. May, may susunod ka pa bang cosplay? Oh, yeah. Uh, hindi ko pala yung shoot actually yung mga Genshin Impact cosplays ko. Uh, Zongli, Childe, Toma, uh, Ayato yun. Ayun no, sige. Good luck, good luck and looking forward to those cosplays. FMJ, ladies and gentlemen, isa sa mga kilala ko, isa sa mga uh, kilala na sa community, FMJ. So, kumusta ka naman ngayon? Mukhang marami kang dala. Huh? Oo, oh, ayun lang. Nagko-cosplay na ako. <laughs> money, money heist ba yan? Pera ba yan? Pera ba yan? Hindi, ano lang. Costume ulit. Magpapalit pa ako mamaya. Nakakailang costumes ka na ngayon? Wala pang una first costume ko pa, mamaya pa magpapalit. Okay then. Sige, uh, so ano, since kailan ka pa nandito umaga? Ano lang, 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock lang, so sucks lang. Sige, kumusta naman experience mo dito? Okay lang, ano, maraming ano, maraming matin na cosplayer. Uh, tapos, Sige, hindi ka naman natatakot ano? Hindi na lang, wala pa. Nak ano right. naman, okay. Ano naman sila sa ano? sa minimum health standard. Alright, sige. So, looking forward sa'yo later. So, thank you. FMJ, ladies and gentlemen. Choji TV, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Choji. What's up, what's up, what's up? Tagal mo na rin, tagal mo na rin ginagawa itong mga to despite all of these things happening. So, kumusta ka naman? Okay naman. Siyempre, tuloy-tuloy pa din kahit na may pandemic o wala. Eh, content creator ako eh. <laughs> Ayan, yun lang. Ito si Choji talaga. Kilala siya sa mga cosplay review ng mga ganon. So, Uh, masasabi natin na kaya niyang gawin niyo kasi nagko-cosplay siya. <laughs> Tapos may ini-invite ka pa ng mga ano, guests. So pa paano 'yon? Ano ano ba 'yung ano ba 'yung siste? Ay binubuk mo ba sila by schedule? Yeah, binubuk ko sila by schedule. Kinukuha ko 'yung schedule nila then kapag free sila, ayun. Game na. So that said, uh, ano ano uh, this time, this February, marami ka pa bang ga- mga cosplay review? Yeah, marami pa. Tuloy-tuloy yung content hanggang December. Hanggang December na, so nakapila na lahat ng mga cosplayers. Oh my God, Choji, hassle talaga kung hassle. Hassle talaga. Hassle talaga. Ako na yung napapagod. Ikaw yung napapagod sa sarili mong grind. Yung content ko yung dinauubos eh. <laughs> Ay, so saan ka namin makikita? Ah, syempre, uh, YouTube mo mga kaibigan kahit wala masyadong upload. Pero kayo may upload na, may event na eh. Ayan, Choji TV mga kaibigan, Facebook, YouTube. Ayan, may kita nyo na po yan. Ayan, sige Choji. Sige, uh, final message para ito sa mga viewers mo. Ah, sa mga viewers ko, ayan, keep watching and support Filipino content creators. Thank you very much Choji. Sige. Uh, hi Sushi, kumusta ka? Okay lang. <laughs> uh, your cosplay is parang kita gawa, so how are you? Actually, ngayon pa lang ako nakapag-cosplay kung kailang gabi na. <laughs> Kasi ano, I am staff here at Otakit, so yun. Ngayon lang ako nakapag-cosplay. Matagal ka na yung staff ng Otakit na, no? Yes, I've been a staff here for around like more than one year already, I think. More than one year. Pero nala, actually, tagal na kasi, di ba? So, we passed, uh, we've, we've passed two years. So, mang, ang otaku talaga nag-stay na siya for how long? For three, four years? I, I guess two years na. na um, around two years na rin. Or more than two years, I guess. Maka feeling ko two years talaga eh. Oo, oh, kasi like, di ba may pandemic? So, like, para nag-stop din yung operation. So, ayun. Why are cosplaying as Marine? Because I love Marine. I mean, even before... Before pa na release yung anime, is a uh, favorite. Uh, para na basa ko na yung ano, yung Dress of Darling na manga. Tapos super nakaka-relate ako kay Marin and kay Gojo kasi nag-gumagawa din ako ng cosplay. So, I am two in one, Gojo and Marin in one. So, <laughs> nagtatahi ng costume sa cosplayer din. <laughs> so, in that in that regard, ilang ano, uh, pang ilang episode na na napanood mo? Ah, uh, yung I think yung latest, ano ba yung latest? Nakamata ko na kung ano yung episode yung latest eh. Basta yung latest, yung nasa umatin sila ng con. Ayun. Ayun, at I think that was episode 4 or 5. <laughs> uh, yun nga, very up, very aptly, ano. Hello everyone! Hello to the viewers of Keepsakes! Hi! How are you? Thank you very much, Sushi! So I'm here with Yusan and Kensan from Otakute and Otaske. Hi, okay. So it's been a while 
since I was able to talk to you in something like this. Uh, this is perhaps this is the first time I'm doing this in full, right? Okay, so you've been developing Otaske as a platform for cosplayers. And uh, we see, we already see the developments. Like uh, for one time, I already did a sort of a review of hot players there. So, uh, so far, you're, 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 uh, how, how's it so far? Um, well, we f first we mostly uh, targeting and focusing to the cosplayer, but well, it, uh, no, not only cosplayer, also the. Uh, cost, uh, anime lovers, uh, Japanese uh, subculture lovers. Everyone, wo uh, we want everyone install and enjoy our app. Yeah. Okay. So far, you've been doing a lot of activities uh, at the Otaske app, and the initial goal was. Uh, am I correct if, uh, to say that the initial goal was just within the Filipino audience? Ah, uh, it's not Filipino. Audience, uh, we want all uh, people to join Otaske app from the over the world. So, actually, we already launched uh, 10, 37 countries, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then 8,000 downloads here, not only the Philippines, from the 37 countries already. So, we must expand uh, all over the world. And, that's, and that is surprising given that you've, uh, uh, how many months has it been since Otaske has been launched? Uh, on uh, as a mobile app, as a social network, rather. Uh, we launched last July, yeah, I July. think, uh, 2021. 20, so only six, seven months is, uh, uh, from now. So on, well, it's uh, quite fast. So we are surprised and we are really appreciate uh, everyone's support to us. All right. So, um, setting aside Otaske, uh, here at Otaku, you've been doing these events, and how? And I believe uh, you've been surviving so far with uh, with all what's happening everywhere. So, how about this event? How long did it took you to plan such events? Uh, <clears throat> we are planning every two months a uh, whole uh, Otaku event in this place. And also, we are start to construct an our own uh, event space beside of this building. So we want to connect all this rappel and event space and our Otask app. We will connect all. So we want to hold totally new uh, Otaku event here in Philippines. Yeah. Interesting. So. Uh, that's that's uh, a long-term goal, rather, right? Okay, so about this event, about this uh, Otaske Cosplay Festival. So I heard that you will be doing another cosplay festival soon. Hi, uh, another cosplay festival. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, we will have another cosplay festival on April. I think uh, still at the same venue, but. After two months, I mean July or uh, June or July, uh, our new event space already done the renovation. It's uh, almost 1,000 square meter with a lot of the equipment. So that the time we hold the event uh, there and here uh, combined. So we target, uh, I think, 2,000 attendances, something like that. Now, in that regard, so does does the new event venue that you're developing also have like specifics for health protocols and all? Protocol? Yeah, I mean the health protocols like the dis physical distancing and all. Yes, yes, uh, we will follow the protocol. Uh, even this event, uh, when we decided to hold the event, then suddenly uh, changed to a lot level three. Uh, so. We it's hard to decide, but still uh, we check the ev every regulation. Then uh, it's fine to hold the event. Then luckily after that, uh, going to uh, alert level two, Kase, so we can accept more uh, attendance. Uh, so we will, uh, we don't want to of course uh, violate anything. Uh, we want to uh, follow the protocol. Meaning, uh, of course, most important is your health safety. So in, the, in that said, uh, congratulations again on your successful uh, activity, your successful uh, cosplay festival. 
So yeah, now that uh, it's all, it's it's actually closing time at this moment. Uh, how do you feel right now? Are you do you do you feel exhausted or do you feel satisfied or yeah? Tell tell us more. Well, first uh, first impression, we really surprised because uh, we restart the event uh, two years, <laughs> two years, uh, two years we didn't do any event so. We really surprised the current followers fan uh, still uh, loving us, uh, following us. And also today I saw a lot of newbie uh, followers and our fans. So yeah, I'm surprised and really appreciate. Yeah. Thank you very much. Now with regards to Polar, Polar, yeah. So how are, how are they doing so far? Uh, last Months end of uh, January we finished the uh, third song recording, Jaka one cover song. So, but still uh, we didn't shoot the music video. So that is, I think, the next activity. Uh, uh, but it's about the polar more difficult because we cannot hold concert, we cannot hold a some fun event. Uh, it's quite difficult. Uh, that's why. We cannot uh, express more activity, but uh, we did already start some recording. Check out one cover song. But, you already, but they're already on Spotify. Yes, and, and that's, a, that's a big achievement uh, given that not all uh, local groups, like I, I, I remember a few local groups who've done their uh, music, who produced their music and then went to upload it on Spotify. So I guess that would be it. And uh, once again, thank you very much, Ken San, Yu San, Hi, thank you. Otakute. So this, uh, one last, does happiness to everyone, your motto, still stands up to this year? Yeah, forever. <laughs> Our stance can, uh, will not be changed, never. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. Ang sese ng araw natin dito. With that said, my name is Jay Agonay. This has been Keepsakes and see you at the next video.